Hello and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial and this will be the short edi edition of the interplanetary rover. So this will be the short edition of going to Leith with a rover and I will just cover the basics if you want more details or have uh, don't understand everything I go through it in a longer tutorial which was uploaded a couple of weeks ago. So we're sitting here on the launch pad with our rocket and we're going to leave it on the launch pad until the alignments between the planets is correct. That's because we can warp the fastest when we're on the ground. So I've warped until we have the right alignment between Joule and Kerbin and the right alignment between the two planets for our uh, uh, transfer burn is about 96 degrees. So I'm I've just taken this uh, from an, like an eye perspective and uh, looked for a 90 degree angle between the two planets and I have taken done it a little bit before it was a 90 degree to joule so it's about 95 96 degrees. You can also use uh, mechanical jeb to show you the phase angles as they are called or there are um, sites on well there are different sites that show you different phase angles now after I done this I launched a rocket up into a circular orbit and I went to the dark side of the planet the, the side pointing away from the Sun to start my transfer burn and going to Joule uh, we need a long time to burn so it's a little bit before the 90 degree or 180 degree to the sun if you want to think, think of it that way. But it's just a straightforward burn until we get an encounter with Joule. And you can see we are getting closer to getting an encounter with Joule here. And uh, we are just going to bring our closest encounter until we get the periaps. And just burn very carefully until you see your periaps starting to uh, stop improving and we will do more improvements once we get closer. So now we're about 10 days away from Joule and I'm going to lower my orbit because you can see it's quite a bit uh, higher than Joule. It hasn't been perfect so we're going to lower our uh, orbit down to Joule's uh, orbit. Now you could aim straight for Joule but that would mean you got a high inclined orbit as you can see by the uh, purple line once you get to Joule. So what I'm going to do is push my orbit to cross Joule's orbit before we get the encounter or I'm using the encounter marker as a kind of a guideline so I'm just trying to aim the encounter uh, marker and put it straight on the Joule's orbit line. Then well, once we get an encounter I will then raise my orbit again, again so we'll get a flat orbit with Joule. Uh, we've now been captured by Joule's Sphere of Inference or SOI and you can see it's a big incline but since we're so far away we're going to start our um, incline changes all the way back here because the farther away you are from the planet the less fuel you have to use and doing these interplanetary missions you want to be fuel efficient. So I want to raise my orbit because you can see I'm going lower than Joule. So I'm just po pointing north. Now if you were higher than the planet you were going to you would point south. Just changing the heading of your orbit and you can see I'm just bringing it up until it's about uh, zero inclination on Joule. It doesn't have to be perfect but since we're going to a different planet after this it, it helps to get it as close as possible. Now that we have fixed the inclination we want to put our periaps into Joule's atmosphere and use Joule to error break. Now you don't want to do a retrograde burn because that will mean you are using all your veloc or all your fuel breaking your velocity and that's what we want to do uh, do in Joule's atmosphere. We want 
the atmosphere to do all the work. So what we'll do is to change the heading we're traveling so that we will hit Jules atmosphere meaning that um, uh, we are flying in one direction and we just need to push it a little bit to the side so it hits Jules. You can think of it as a ball rolling over the floor if you just hit it a little bit to one of the sides it will start rolling that way and hit the chair if that's what you're aiming at. So I'm pointing uh, I think it was the 90 degree marker or uh, no 270 degrees because we're uh, it depends on which side you're coming in from the planet, but you want to be burning uh, f If you look at the rocket looking at the jewel, it should be burning inwards to the planet And we're doing that until our periaps is at about 195 I think it was So yeah, my bad it was a hundred and nineteen not 195 and I'm going for 119, 500, about around there. That's what I'm aiming for. Now, Joule has a very tricky atmosphere because if you go a couple of or just 1,000 meters too low, you might uh, end up crashing into the planet. And if you go 1,000 or 2,000 too high, you will be slung, um, thrown back into space. So I'm going for the safe around 19,000. Uh, that will mean I'll have to use a little bit of engine to uh, get the right altitude. Now after a nice aero braking maneuver uh, we have to use a little bit of engines or engine power to put our apps at uh, late orbit. So I'm just bringing it down to match the altitude of late and we are going to use that orbit uh, or that point to get our encounter. So now that we have gotten the attitude right we want to change our inclination uh, it's not too bad but since Leith is a small moon uh, it's it's uh, nice to get it somewhat like uh, 0, 0 0.1 plus or minus I think we're taking it all the way down to 1 so even the smaller object is the bigger the difference uh, of your inclination will or the, the more effect your inclination will have and also the longer the distance the bigger change it will make so I'm just bringing it down to around zero before we get an encounter with lathe now that we've gotten our alignment correct and we are at the app wipes of our orbit uh, the first thing we want to do is to raise our periaps out of the atmosphere because in the worst case we don't want to end up in the atmosphere again and burn up and crash so we are going to burn a little bit to get it out and then we're going to start to watch the closest encounter markers to see if we can, if we can get an encounter on the first orbit with Leith and in this uh, example we are lucky and get an encounter on the first try now you don't want to burn so your periaps becomes your apps because that that means you have wasted fuel so you should probably go for an other orbit but in this uh, this test it worked quite nicely now Leith has a quite uh, short orbit so it's usually easy to get on the first try now after doing the same uh, encounter maneuvers as we did with Joule of bringing our inclination down to about zero and do uh, bringing the periaps into the atmosphere we are slowing down for our circular orbit around Leith using the atmosphere and we get these beautiful re-entry effects as we use the atmosphere of Leith to stop our velocity or not stop but slow down now after we gotten our orbit uh, somewhat circular we are going to do a retrograde burn to find our landing spot 
Now I'm in a round a uh, hundred thousand meter orbit, which means um, I can come in pretty steep, but n not too steep. Uh, but lathe is if you land on the low areas of lathe, you can you all there is enough atmosphere to slow you down most of the time if you have parachutes and everything if you land on the mountains you might have to use some engines and maybe do more uh, sideways entry of the atmosphere uh, Aduna is a good example of this because uh, lathe um, and Kerbin you can come pretty straight down and uh, atmosphere will break you your speed and the parachutes will take care of the rest now in a less dense or dense atmosphere planet you want to go through the atmosphere as long as possible so you want to skim across the top uh, part of uh, the dense areas before you start going down so you want to keep your spacecraft in this uh, braking area as long as possible now after I gotten my landing coordinates in it was just to land the rover and get rid of the sky crane and getting rid of the sky crane is pretty easy it's just giving it a little bit of throttle make sure you don't take off and just detach and it will fly away nicely so the rover is now on lathe and ready to be drawn around so I've hoped you enjoy this uh, short tutorial on getting to lathe if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, I do recommend if you don't understand all the principles of this to see the long edition of uh, this it's about an hour long so it's pretty long but I go more into the details or hopefully I hope I go more into the details of how everything works and that I can explain it so that you understand how it's done so wearing storm signing off <laughs>